If you're a Fluent Forms user and you only use the free plugin, I've got some great news for you today. There are two key new features you may want to take a look at. The first one I'm going to only go over very briefly, but the second one we'll take a look at in a little bit more detail. What is that first one? Well, now you can actually use the payment module to be able to create payment forms. So there's like subscription forms, purchasing forms, those kinds of things. Now we'll cover the premium version of this feature in its own video. I'll link that down below. It allows you to kind of be able to replace something like WooCommerce for simpler sites and something you may want to check out. You can now do a lot of this for free. So let's briefly take a look at that before we take a look at the second new feature. So now if you want to easily set up any kind of payment option, you can do it. There are some limitations here over the free version, which you can kind of understand. But for a lot of users, this may be more than enough. So I've already created a membership one, but let's go and create something new from scratch. Let's say we want to create a new form. We'll say we want to start with a blank form. And now we can start building out the various different elements. You'll also notice we now get a payment field option. So once you've enabled this feature, you'll see we have payment items, subscriptions, pay amounts, and so on. So you can easily start to build up your own setup to be able to take payments. So if you want to create a membership site, you could use this. If you want to sell individual products, you could use this. There's a lot of different cool options here. It's very simple. Let's just go and add the payment item in. You can see there's our item. We'll select it from the list. You can give it a name. You can also then set the amount up. So we'll say this is going to be 100. The price, that's fine. Required, yes or no. And you've got some advanced options inside you for setting up any kind of styling that you want to do to customize that aspect of it. So you can see now we've easily set up a simple purchase option. You've got more options inside you as well. So let's say, for example, you want to create a custom amount. You can select it again. Add the options in, custom payment amount, the admin label, placeholder, where it's required the minimum and maximum value. So you may say a minimum of $10 or pounds or whatever it is, and a maximum of 100. And now people can put their own amounts in there. Pretty simple. Come back one more time. Take a quick look at the subscription option. Again, select this. And now we have options for pricing plans. So you can set the name of it up. You can set the price the billing interval from daily through to yearly. And this will allow you to connect up to Stripe, which will handle those subscriptions. Now, obviously, if you don't use Stripe or you don't have access to Stripe, it is going to limit you. But for a lot of users, Stripe would be a perfectly fine option, especially if you're just testing things out before you invest a huge amount of time, effort, and money into adding these kinds of features in. You can try it out for zero cost to you, other than obviously the transaction fee that you have with whatever payment processor. And then you can see if it works. And if it does, you could then say, well, I need more features. I can go the pro version or an alternative option. You know, you kind of get the idea. If you come into your global settings, inside there, you can see we've got payment settings. So all you need to do is make sure you enable the payment feature. Then you've got various different settings inside here. So you can set your business name, address, logo, and so on. Set the currency you want to work with any payment or subscriptions, so you'll have the account page and so on. You simply create the pages, drop this little short code in, and those pages will be created for people to manage their payment subscriptions and so on. Again, I've covered all this in the video I'll link down below, so check that out if you want to find out more about it. But the fact this is now available in almost its entirety for zero cost, I think is pretty awesome. And the real reason I think they're doing this is probably because it allows them to bring it in line with the recently released Fluent community. If you want me to cover that in a video, let me know down below. Where obviously you can set up payment for courses and membership and so on. And that obviously integrates seamlessly into their Fluent line of products. So making this functionality free and included in the free plugin opens up those options to be able to easily connect that up to the Fluent community plugin, free or pro version and give you the ability to take those payments. So pretty nifty. So that's the first one I want to cover. I might say, if you want to learn more, check out the link in the description down below. But the second feature is probably a little bit more interesting for a lot of users, and that is we can now use AI inside Fluent Forms to be able to create our forms. And I know you're thinking, but Paul, it's AI. AI is in everything, and I get you. I kind of feel the same about a lot of instances. But as I said, when I took a look at this similar kind of functionality inside Jet Engine from Crocoblock, sometimes, AI makes sense. It's not necessarily a gimmick. It's something that makes our workflow smoother, easier, with less effort involved. And that's always a good thing. So how do you use it? Pretty simple. Let's go and create a new form. 
And you probably noticed in my previous one where I quickly skipped over this, there's this create using AI. Let's open this option up and it's very simple to get started. You tell it what the form is for and you tell it the kinds of fields that you want to include. Now this is using the integrated AI inside Fluent Form. So we're not connecting up to things like ChatGPT. However, if you have the pro or premium version of Fluent Forms, you can choose to use either the Fluent AI, which is kind of what's included in this free version, or you can connect it up to ChatGPT if you want to use that. But that's only in the pro version. And again, it would be nice to see if they expand this out to other AI models, maybe things like DeepSeek and so on. But for now, it is either their own model or using ChatGPT. Okay, so let's just say what kind of form you want to create. You can simply drop that in. So we'll tell what the form is for, then we'll tell it the key fields that we need to include. There we go. So there's the end results. You can see it just pulls us into the normal editor, but we do have a lot of the hard work done for us. So our name, email, contact, telephone, business name, uh, business area description and so on, approximate annual income, types of tender, interested in specific requirements. If we click on this, we can take a look at that information. Obviously, we weren't very specific, so we could have been more specific, or we can just use this as a starting point and simply come in and start adding extra fields in, making changes to it, and so on. But I think with anything like this, the AI can be super useful because I haven't had to go through all this. Now I can just quickly tweak the elements that I don't think are relevant or need expanding upon. And if I want to start adding extra things in, I can easily do that. So we can say, well, what's the website URL? We'll add that in and reposition it. We want to put in custom HTML and so on. You can do all those kinds of things as well. And again, you can see your payment field options are included inside here as well. And we've got our terms and conditions of privacy policy, confirmation, and everything else is in place. Do I think this is useful? Yes, because I think a lot of us find the whole process of creating forms pretty boring and laborious. And maybe if you've got a more comprehensive form and you just want to get a head start, you can use this. But I would recommend you take a look, download this, try it out for yourself. There's no cost involved whatsoever. You can test it out. Give me your feedback in the comment section down below. But one thing I would say is this is the first release of this, so hopefully it will get better as it moves forward, and hopefully we'll start to see more of those AI models in the pro version being available to us so we can have more choice about what AI models we may want to use if we want to take advantage of this. But that's what I wanted to show you in this video. It's just a very, very brief overview. Be sure to check out the video where I show you exactly how to set things up when it comes to taking payments. Even though it's the premium version, those features are basically the same. Check that out. Link in the description and in the corner right now. As always, I welcome your feedback. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts. And until next time, take care.